All right, it's now 1213. Let's send it over to Peyton for a look at what's going on outside. Yeah, and if, hey, Leah, yeah, and if you're going to be out this afternoon or evening, it's not a bad idea to have a rain coat, maybe an umbrella or a poncho nearby just in case. We do have a chance for showers. You could see some dark clouds on our sky camera this afternoon. We've had a few light showers, but we really haven't seen anything that's been heavy. So rain chances, they're going to remain low the remainder of the day, but they are there. So it's worth noting if you are going to be outside, whether you're doing any of the festival, we've got going on or heading out to Friday night football this evening. Pack a rain uh, coat just in case. Temperature wise, we're going to go from the 80s to the 70s by midnight and then things will start to cool off by tomorrow morning. That slow moving cold front finally gets in here later on into excuse me into the overnight hours. Rain on radar. It's been hard to find inland. There's been a lot down here in the Gulf, but that's not really impacting anyone. Uh, we're just still got some residual clouds left over, but just a few showers peeking out here in there and you can see our precision cast showing a few of these showers as we go through the remainder of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Then here comes the front moving in later this evening by tonight. Things starting uh, to pick up with our winds. It will be gustier tonight, especially near the lakefront and then tomorrow windy and cooler across the area. Now not chilly tomorrow morning 60s tomorrow afternoon 78 then even cooler on Sunday still forecasting around 74 Sunday and then uh, you knew it wasn't going to last very long. We'll be back to 80 Monday and then in the mid 80s next week. But I do see signs that another cold front enters our area next Friday. So maybe we can square that one up just right. Get another cold front in here for next weekend. We'll see. This is Sunday morning. This is going to be one of our coolest mornings we've seen in months. In fact, about five and a half months. You got to go back to April here before you find temperatures this cool. So 40s, a lot of 40s on the map here north of the lake Sunday morning will be closer to the low 50s. The closer you get to the lake there and maybe into Bay St. Louis, but Picayune, Bogalusa, Poplarville, Franklinton, Kentwood all around 46 degrees on Sunday morning, even some 40s all the way down to Ponchatoula here in the New Orleans Metro. Of course, it depends on where you're at the West Bank closer to 57 to 54 in Bell Chase Sunday morning at the lakefront low 60s. That'll feel great with the strong breeze and maybe 59 Bucktown to 59 for our friends out in Kenner and Metairie. Even some low 50s Sunday morning out in the Bayou Parishes all the way down into lower Lafourche. Now, once you get close to Port Fouchon and Grand Isle there, you'll be more in the 60s just thanks to your proximity to water. Our rain chances after today, we're going to be dry through the weekend, but notice things start to maybe ramp up next week. There's a lot of questions regarding next week, and it has to do with the disturbance entering the Gulf of Mexico. Now, what's interesting, it's going to be partly tied to the uh, whatever's left over this tropical system from the Pacific moving over Mexico. That extra moisture or leftover moisture gets into the Gulf. Notice widespread showers and storms in the Gulf by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday as it moves off toward the north and east. And then here comes that front next Friday could also bring us some rain. So we'll have a couple chances for rain next week. The big question remains though with this disturbance in the Gulf. I don't really think it's going to blow up into much of a tropical storm or hurricane or anything, but it could be some broad low pressure. And do we get rain or do we miss it? Models are split on does it get closer to us? The American model GFS has us maybe getting some rain from it, whereas the Euro keeps it. I mean, just right south of us and moving into Florida. So that's the big question right now. It's too early to say for sure which one of these scenarios is more likely. They're both possible at this point, so something to follow. Uh, Philippe is now post tropical, meaning it is no longer a tropical system, but it's still a big low pressure. It's actually heading up to New England. It'll be there this weekend. Fortunately, it is not going to have a big impact on the Saints game up there uh, playing the Patriots. They're going to be a little breezy on Sunday with a west wind, but temperatures cool in the 50s should have some sunshine though. Our seven day forecast getting ready for a beautiful weekend. It will be windy Saturday and Sunday, and then we're going to warm up as we head into next week. Heads up for boaters with winds picking up later tonight. Small craft advisory goes in effect tonight, and that will run all the way into early Sunday.